Alright guys, in this video we're going to be reacting to some Thor's gameplay, some new gameplay. Somebody's changed the game files and managed to play as Thor in the game. Let's have a look. Let's let's check what he's able to do and what his natural combat style feels like outside of the actual first A day kind of gameplay that we've all seen. Let's see how this works. His Bifrost is ready. I want this dude to do the Bifrost immediately. Jeez, okay. I think Hulk just did that there, threw all the damage. I'm kind of, I really feel like this hammer throwing is, I feel like Thor is not as good as I want him to be. I don't know, like, I'm noticing things, he seems very slow and similar to kind of Hulk's playstyle in my opinion. I don't know if you guys are seeing that or if you're experiencing that from what you've seen. But I'm, I'm going to have to actually see what, what he plays like when I actually play him myself. This guy's trying to aim at the damn turret and he keeps missing. <laughs> oh man. I think this is also a level 1 Thor, so we're looking at, yeah, level 1 enemies, so this is a level 1, or power level 1 Thor right here. So it's probably very entry level first time playing here. Somehow he managed to play as his hero. Okay, we're doing the same mission here that he did previously with Captain America, so that's interesting. If you do want to see that, there is a video on the channel as, with that as well. Okay, so Thor obviously flies, which makes sense. Captain America flying was a bit of a weird one. So it looks like basically Iron Man's fly, this same copy-paste, except he doesn't seem like... I think he might actually be able to shoot lightning bolts or laser, like a like a lightning from it. Oh, there we go. He's doing his uh, supportive ability there. Warrior's Fury. So he's armored for like six seconds there, it seems. It's actually a very short-term armor, like buff there. Okay. <laughs> Damn peacekeepers again. Nope. This hammer thing is like such a weird concept. I think I think it's something you might have to learn. Maybe it gets stronger with like skills. I mean, it just feels so slow compared to the other the other hero's ranged attacks. What costume was Black Widow wearing there? What? That was weird. It's like she's wearing some coat. The Bifrost. Okay, so this is how you move it. It's a little weird. That was actually really quick. That was like a. I thought I thought it would be a lot more like long lasting. I think with a lot of the heroes that if you actually hold down the heroic ability buttons, you actually get to charge it up. I don't think a lot of people actually knew that. Like, I didn't know that when I first played the beta. Like, I found that afterwards, I found that out afterwards in the actual Reddit subreddit for the game. That you can actually hold in the heroic buttons to charge them longer. Like, the uni beam from Iron Man, you can charge it and shoot it for longer. Kamala's high five, you can make it stronger. Like, like what? Why, why didn't the game say these things? Alright. So Thor just seems pretty much... It's kind of like he's, they're just doing this mission here. It's very simple or similar to what Thor is actually like when you play a -Day. It just seems like they've just moved him into a, a new mission type with what he currently had. The only new thing is here is that we get the Bifrost again. I feel like this... The way he moves this is like really slowly. Like, like what happens to his body? Does his body disappear too? Or like... Is he like immune to like damage during that period? I'm curious. Very interesting. I think he's looking for the lost few enemies here. And he gets to get shot by a peacekeeper. Oh, but he managed to use a rogue in time there. That was actually overpowered. That looks strong. Okay. I feel like this this mission is going on longer than the other one did for some reason. Unless unless Captain America just dealt with them a lot better. There we go. Warrior's Fury. That's actually eight seconds or seven seconds. It looks like it's quite strong and like it's a great AOE heroic ability. I think. That's good. I wonder what Thor's in-game content kind of playstyle is going to be like. Because this is just his light attack right here. That was a heavy attack, I think. Yeah, that was his heavy attack there, the spin. Well, yeah, dude. Okay, did he just lightning bolt him? <laughs> he threw him on the floor, held his foot, and just like zapped him with lightning. Okay, what? He's going to do it again. Oh no, he's going to do a different one. Okay, a little, little bit of a weird cutscene right there, but okay, very interesting. If you do want to see his abilities, his primary skills, his speciality skills, his martial skills, as well as his challenge card, which is like his battle pause, you can check the video linked in the description below for more of that information and where I was reacting to this video from. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in a future video. Thank you for watching.